In this video, I'm going to show you two activities that you can do that will help with the evenness of your vibrato. One of the most important things about making a beautiful vibrato sound is that the movement of your hand is even and not going faster sometimes and slowing down and then faster. So this, these two exercises will help with that. The first one is called knuckle knocking. What I'm going to do is put my, first, uh, first, my hand in first position, take my right hand and put it on the lower bout so I can s secure the instrument and hold it um, firmly so that it won't bounce around while I do this exercise. My left hand is in first position or even back just a little bit further to make sure that I can reach my peg. So my knuckle of my first finger, this one right here, is going to bump into the first peg. So that's what will happen now. As I do it, I'll be able to tell whether it's even and I can feel the evenness of it. I also like to do this with a metronome. I have this on 110, and I'm going to bump two times for each tick. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It doesn't have to be a real hard knock. Uh, some of my students sometimes really go whack, 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 whack. We don't have to do it that hard, but uh, because you'll hurt your hand. But if you do it gently, you can feel if it's even. Another thing we can do, I'm going to move this up to 120 now, is um, do a rhythm. How about this? I'm going to do two per tick in uh, five, five knocks with a bend of the knee. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, bend. The other exercise is called bump finger. It works almost in, a, in the same sort of way where you can actually feel your knuckle, this joint of your vibrating finger, on the string bumping into your finger. So you have to position your right hand in this way. I like to kind of grab a hold of the upper bout here, across the string here, and I'm going to vibrate and bump into my finger this way. And I can feel if it's uneven, I can feel that very easily. Second finger works nicely too. You can do the steadiness of just 120 to two bumps, or 130 two bumps, or 140. If you get to 140, that's a really good speed for a very beautiful vibrato. You can also start and stop. Um, when you do rhythmic pattern with a rest, that encourages your hand to learn how to start and stop the vibrato just like you would have to do when you're playing a piece. You almost never keep a constant vibrato in the course of a, a musical phrase. So starting and stopping with the rests and knee bends is a really good way to practice this. I hope this helps your evenness of your vibrato.